time. The bond of a specialty coffee, barista, roaster, and the coffee farmer and the coffee production are key players and crucial individuals in the success of the industry. Each shareholder plays an important role in the process, and their craftsmanship is interconnected. Farmers are responsible for growing and harvesting only the red ripe coffee cherries, ensuring that the cherries are high quality and meet the standards set by the industry. The quality of the beans is also essential, as they determine the taste and the aroma of the coffee. Welcome aboard. My name is Abdurrahim. A damage your service today. Roasters take the raw coffee beans and transform them into roasted coffee, ensuring that the beans are roasted to perfection, bringing out those unique, beautiful flavors and aromas. The bond between these three individuals is essential, as they rely on each other for success. Farmers need roasters to buy their coffee, while roasters need farmers to provide them with the high-quality beans. Baristas need both farmers and roasters to provide them with, a, with the best possible coffee to brew. The bond between these three individuals is essential. They, uh, the, uh, it's not professional, but also personal. They all share a common goal, passion for coffee, and work together to ensure that the customers get their best possible experience. They also understand that their work has an impact on each other's livelihood and take pride in its work. The coffee that I'm using today is a natural process, Colombia Catura, grown at an elevation of 1,800 meters above sea level. Finca Villaluz, produced by a group of young producers, spearheaded by Juan David Cardona. This is a result of hard work, resilience, and dedication, a true testament of passion. Have a look at the images provided right in front of you. Only the ripest coffee cherries were individually handmade. A floater test was done in a massive bucket, and the cherries on the top were pulled out. The denser coffee cherries in the bottom of the bucket are normally considered the best. They were then dried on raised African beds, with a frequent one to two hour rotation depending on sunlight. This whole process was iconic and ideal. It took two to three weeks. The cherries were then bagged in burlap bags and placed on a shaded place overnight. This whole process will start the fermentation and allows the coffee to start developing those unique beautiful flavors and aromas. As you saw, I extracted my signature drinks doses and left them to cool off in order to easily open up those beautiful flavors and aromas. And now, let's kick off our first course of the day, which is your espresso. Shall we? Beautiful. But first, let me introduce you to the waste distributing tool, which is designed to break down the coffee clumps from the grinder, allowing the coffee to the girls. Besides that, it distributes the coffee grounds evenly, from top to bottom and side to side, creating a more consistent extraction, thus helping the repeatability of your espressos, highlighting the silky texture and that caramel note in your cup.
Extract chilling technique is basically chilling the coffee liquid immediately after extraction, creating less temperature differences between the hot coffee and the cold air, experiencing more profound flavors that began from the soil, tree, and processing. Flavors that were always there hiding, hence now we can appreciate them more. The structure also changed, making our espressos creamier, smoother, while experiencing that sweeter, cleaner, and round aftertaste. This whole process will elevate the tactile of our coffee and will give us a more velvety texture. The recipe that I'm using today is 20 grams in, 43 out at 93 degrees because this is where I found the most favorable tactile experience. Can you wait for my instructions, please? Balance of flavors and high level of sweetness. As soon as they serve you, can evaluate only the crema. I would like you also to write down a few notes for your taste descriptors. You will find pineapple, cherries, and passion fruit. At the finish is sweet and long kind of grapefruit. This drink is best enjoyed in three steps. In tactile, you will find medium weight, Velvety texture that turns silky on the third sip. The acidity is medium to high, and the bitterness is low, with a mellow medium intensity. And the sweetness is medium to high, the body is medium, and the aftertaste is pleasant, long, and lingering. You can use this spoon provided right in front of you to stir back and forth five times, homogenizing the extracts properly and ensuring a suitable temperature for all to enjoy this phenomenal beverage. Once done, can you place the spoons on the shots glasses provided right in front of you. Go ahead and enjoy. Let's proceed with our second course of the day, the milk beverage. As part of the bond to bring out the best out of this coffee, I'm playing my role as a dedicated barista, delivering to you this phenomenal sensory experience. The milk that I'll be using today is a blend that has 60% oat milk and 40% froze distilled full fat milk. I froze distilled the full fat milk in order to make it creamier, smoother, and sweeter on your palate. This milk blend froths perfectly, giving us an exceptional milk beverage. Oat milk is also fortified with essential nutrients and vitamins, which will highlight the overall taste and texture of our coffees. I will steam my milk at 55 degrees, deliberately, to highlight the overall taste and texture of our final drink.
Okay, again. The bond between the roaster and I roasted this coffee at maximum potential here in Busan. We commenced our roast at 190 degrees, then start to reduce the temperature at Miller reaction in order to enable a development of 12% with a total roasting time of 10 minutes and 15 seconds. Please enjoy. In order to highlight the tropical fruity flavor and creating a profile that's unique, strategic and suitable across all our beverages. Please enjoy. Please enjoy. With your tasting notes, please write it down. Butterscotch, caramel, chocolate cookie, walnut, wafer biscuits, with a long lasting finish of melted vanilla ice cream. Please enjoy. On our last course, signature drink, I call it Bogota, inspired by the arts, coffee culture, and gastronomy of the capital city of Colombia. This is gulupa, popularly known as passion food, prepared by adding one cup of passion food pulp, five to six pieces to a blender, then adding one cup of chilled water, two tablespoons of sugar, then blend it for three seconds. Pass the juice through a fine strainer. I will add 20 mLs. Combined with our coffees, it will unlock a new complex flavor of kiwi. Our second ingredient is Earl Grey tea, brewed for five minutes at 90 degrees with a ratio of one to eight. This is to highlight the tropical fruity flavor and will unlock a new flavor of bergamot. Our third ingredient is golden berries, popularly known as ghost berries. It's an exotic fruit prepared by adding one cup of golden berries to a pan, one and a quarter cup of demerara brown sugar, cooked at medium to low flame for 20 minutes, thickening it to a jam. I will add 10 grams, un unlocking a new flavor of mango. Last but not least, a byproduct of the coffee that I use today, coffee sacrum. It's basically li uh, 60 grams of leftover coffee pucks with just an equal part of cane sugar. During the maceration process, I essentially aimed at getting all the excess oil, water, coffee flavors that in the grounds, tucked out by the sugar at ambient temperature for t uh, 14 hours, resulting in a zero waste, sweet and sour coffee sacrum, which will marry perfectly the pineapple fruit flavor in our coffees, unlocking a new flavor of caramel. Be ready for a sensational taste experience. My dear judges, can you have a look at the menus that I provided earlier that has enlightening information about our coffees while I flush them all with nitrogen in order to emphasize the creamy texture. Bogota is best served at room temperature with chilled cups in order to accentuate the sensory experience. I would like you also to write down a few notes for your taste descriptors. You will find kiwi, bergamot, mango, caramel, and mandarin. So as I serve you, can you drink it straight away, swirling between each sip six times. Please enjoy. Please enjoy. Please enjoy. Bonding 
the synergy, having the knowledge and devotion to the exploration of coffee, should be valued, cherished, and paramount. Above all, these drinks are bound to leave you enchanted with its in-depth flavors. A truly glorious moment to the farmer, roaster, you as my guest today, and the barista. Thank you. Time. And thank you very much.